Moving on from bears to another animal now, kind of. You may have noticed that trees up near Spooner Summit have changed color or lost some of their leaves. Yeah, not just because of the fall. White satin moths are to blame. They've taken over state park devastating trees in that area. Jamie Hayes spoke to the Nevada Division of Forestry about these insects and what they're doing to our aspen trees. They basically eat the entire leaf. They'll, you'll just see the main petiole, uh, the leaf veins is all that's left on the leaves. White satin moss are taking over Spooner Summit State Park. The Forest Service knows them around five years ago, but this past summer they really did some damage on the aspen trees near Lake Tahoe. This year, for some reason, the population just exploded and uh, about 250, 260 acres uh, had uh, pretty heavy defoliation this year. You can actually see the destruction that these moths are doing. As you can see, there are no leaves on these trees over here where they have worked on. But as you continue to go down the trail, there are still trees with leaves on them that they have not reached yet. Basically an unbroken five mile chain of aspen from Spooner to Marlette Lake. And uh, we found caterpillars uh, in that entire length of aspen. Now, this is a concern for the Forest Service because starting in June, these moths start eating the leaves. Then the tree has to start creating more leaves. Then in August, the caterpillars start eating those new leaves. After two or three years of uh, defoliation, heavy defoliation like that, you start seeing branch dieback and, and actually some of the older aspen, are, we're, we're getting mortality from it. And since there are so many of them, it would be difficult for the Forest Service to eradicate the moss entirely. There's about a dozen on this tree on this back side here. But they are talking about using a pesticide to help rid some of these moss, and this will not harm the trees in any way. Covering the story, Jamie Hayes, Channel 2 News. So our sunshine.